In Microsoft Stream, videos are able to be secured with a combination of permissions at the video level, the group level, and the settings of the group. Let's for example go to My Content and let's go to Videos. And let's just choose a video. So I'm going to choose this one here and I'm going to click the Edit button. There's a Permissions section available when you upload a video and you're able to also, as you can see here, get to it after you've uploaded a video. This option here at the top allow everyone in your company to view this video. When this is checked, as this indicates here, everyone in your company can view this video and can add it to their groups and their channels. Then we have this option here, Share With, and I'll click this option here. You can share with groups, channels, or a particular person. So for example, if I was going to choose groups, I would click in here and I would search for a group by typing a letter. So I might press S. And these are the two groups I have, Software Solutions and Sales Pipeline, that begin with S. And I can choose which group I want to share it with. If I click on Software Solutions, that has now been added to my list of viewers. If I want to make that group an owner, I would tick this option here. Now what does that mean? What we might need to do at this point is go and have a look at that group's permissions and its settings. I'm going to go to my content and to groups and I'm going to click on software solutions and click on edit. Here we have allow all members to contribute. If allow all members to contribute is turned on, then all members of the group are contributors. So owners and members of the group will have ownership of that video. If I turn it off, then members of the group are viewers only. So only the owners of the group will have ownership of the video. And that's how that works. So I'll cancel that. And I'll go back to videos. And I'll go back to that particular video. So that's what the permissions mean. If you add a group, and then you tick owner, if they're all allowed to contribute, then they suddenly all become owners of this video. But if in that group they're not all allowed to contribute, then only the owner of that group becomes the owner of this video. And what does an owner mean? An owner means they can edit the video settings, they can delete the video, and they can add the video to other groups and other channels. If I want to remove this group, I hit the X. But what does the display option mean? The display option means, if I tick it here, checking this box makes the video display on the stream groups page. This only can be set for stream groups that have permissions to contribute videos. So that's what that means. I'm going to remove the group by hitting the X. Let's say it's not a group, it's actually a channel. So I'm going to click this option here and I'm going to choose channels. And then I press a letter to select the channel. So I might press M. All the channels that begin with M are shown. Some channels are company wide and some channels are limited. So I might choose this particular channel here. And so again, the channel is listed under the viewers. It's a company-wide channel, so basically everyone in the company will be able to view this video. If I want to remove those channels, I can do. Let's choose a channel that wasn't um, company-wide. So I'm going to go for the marketing channel. And so marketing has been listed, and again, I can make them the owner of this particular video, which means that they have the right to edit the video, delete the video, and add the video to other groups and channels, or not. I also have the option to display or not on that group's page. If it's an individual person, let me remove that group and go for people, then I would simply choose the people I wanted to share this video with. So I'll press a couple of letters, and I have the option to perhaps choose this person. And so this person 
now has the ability to view the video. And if I choose owner, they now have the ability to edit the video settings, delete the video, or add the video to other groups and channels. And so that's the permission side of a particular video. And then I would just click apply. Those videos that have a limited viewing audience or have a orange symbol and those that have a company-wide audience will have a green symbol, so that's important too.